With the large amounts of information that we can collect on our athletes on a day-to-day -day basis, the obvious challenge for practitioners is knowing when to intervene. Obviously, when you're measuring things, a lot of the time the tendency is to jump in, change the program and intervene straight away. What I'd like to talk about in this video is the concept of thinking twice before doing nothing. To not only just consider the immediate data, but take into account some additional information to inform your decision making. If we look at this graph again, we can see the relationship between the acute chronic workload ratio and injury risk. And it's very clear to see that on average, when we spike our athlete's workload, the risk of injury increases. But what is it that separates the robust athletes from the fragile athletes? Why is it that when we spike workloads, not all athletes break? If we look at each one of these dots on the screen and consider them like an athlete, you can see that some athletes are theoretically in the danger zone, yet their risk of injury is close to zero. Equally, we have other athletes who are theoretically in the sweet spot, yet their risk of injury is really high. So again, what separates those robust from fragile athletes? Well, the, the thing that separates these athletes is something we call moderators. A moderator is something, it's like an, a go-between factor that moderates or is a factor that is in between load and injury. For example, we could take aerobic fitness as a moderator and consider that as a moderator. If we have two athletes with the exact same spike in workload, the athlete with poor aerobic fitness will have an increased risk of injury when exposed to that spike in workload, whereas the athlete with well-developed aerobic fitness will be protected against injury when exposed to that spike in workload. Now, there's a lot of moderators that we've uncovered for high intensity and intermittent sports. It's likely that moderators are very sport specific. So a moderator for a weightlifter might be strength, and it could be completely different from the moderators for say a marathon run, where aerobic fitness might be more important. But if we go to the next slide, you can see that there's a number of moderators that we've uncovered. We know that age is important. We know that injury history is important. We know that training history or chronic load is important. And we know that strength and aerobic power are important. So let's say, for example, we have two athletes with the exact same spike in workload. We've spiked their, their acute chronic workload ratio and they're both high. We could panic the coach or, and shut both of those athletes down. Or, in, in the classic um, way of interpreting the data with a lot of information together, we think twice before doing nothing. We take a look at some of the extra variables that could impact on injury risk, and we look at the background moderators. So let's say we have these two athletes, they both have the exact same spike in workload. Athlete A is really young. He has a very long injury history, and because of that, he has a poor training history, and because of that, he has poorly developed strength and aerobic fitness. That's five moderators that are working against that athlete. Now let's take athlete B. He's not young and he's not super old. He's in the middle of his career. He's got a very short injury history, and because of that, he's been able to train consistently. And because of that, he has well developed strength and aerobic capacity. He has five moderators that are working in his favor. So when you compare those two athletes, the only thing that's similar between those two athletes is the acute chronic workload ratio. Everything else about those athletes is different. So of course, we have to manage those two athletes differently. So hopefully you can see from this that it's not just about the acute chronic ratio, it's not just about load, we need to take into account other information when interpreting data to make the best decisions for our athletes. We need to think twice before doing nothing.